Training status is an overview of your current training condition. It can be used to help plan future training and continue improving your fitness level. In this video, we'll show you how to interpret training status readings on your compatible Garmin watches. Please refer to the FAQs provided in the video description to better understand each of the specific physiological metrics mentioned in this video. When you open this glance, you'll see a data screen presenting your current training status. There are 10 statuses, including peaking, productive, maintaining, strained, unproductive, overreaching, recovery, detraining, no status, and paused. You can press start button to view insights. What metrics determine your training status? In short, the training status utilizes your VO2 max, HRV, and acute load to show how your training is progressing. Number one, VO2 max will be generated in a running or cycling activity. Runs must be recorded outdoors with GPS tracking and heart rate data. Cycling can take place indoors or outdoors, but the rides must be done using a power meter and with recorded heart rate data. Number two, HRV. If your watch didn't record a VO2 max, it can still use the HRV status to calculate training status. HRV status is recorded by the heart rate sensor in compatible watches during sleep. Higher HRV values generally indicate lower bodily stress levels. The third element of training status is acute load, which will measure the combined stress on your body from your activities over the last seven days. The higher the load, the more recovery time you need. Load focus. Scrolling further down, you'll see load focus which shows your training loads of anaerobic, purple bar, high aerobic, orange bar, and low aerobic, light blue bar, separately. This is analyzed through understanding how various intensities and changes in intensity support and trigger adaptations in your body. The colored bars show how much of your training load while the non-colored bar is the optimal target calculated by your training history and performance. Returning to the previous page, you can also check your VO2 max, HRV status, recovery time, and heat acclimation here. Once again, do not forget to refer to the FAQs provided in the video description to understand more about these terms. We hope this video has provided valuable insight into your fitness level and training progress. Thank you for watching. For additional support, visit the Garmin Product Support website.